ride with me as I do a neighborhood drive through tour of Providence. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and welcome to my neighborhood drive through series. And in this series, I like to go through all the neighborhoods here in the Las Vegas Valley and just show you what these neighborhoods are all about, what parks are in these neighborhoods, and all that other good stuff. So right now, we are doing a tour of Providence. I've done a video of Providence a couple years ago, maybe two or three years ago, um, but it wasn't, I don't think it was that good of a video. I'm gonna showcase all the parks that are here in Providence. So basically, Providence was established in 2006, and it sprawls over 1,200 acres, and it has 27 unique neighborhoods. Um, I remember when I first started in real estate, they did have some new homes in Providence, but now I don't think there's anything new left in Providence. Right next to Providence on the left-hand side or to the west of it is the new master plan community called Sky Hills. And I've done a video tour of that community. And it's also borders along Sky Canyon. So Sky Canyon's super close to Providence. Um, but the nice thing about Providence or how it was designed was they wanted that whole New England look to it. The whole um, northeastern type feel of how the homes are and how the streets are. Uh, if you look straight ahead, they have the nice poles, the designer poles. Um, they also have, I think, three parks here, which we will take a tour of all three of those parks. And they have over 5,600 single-family homes and two multifamily complexes here in this community. So you have the Oak Ridge at Providence, that's a gated community. Some are gated, some are non-gated. But the nice thing about a lot of these neighborhoods, they're kind of like Summerlin where they, and the entry have their own park, which is really nice. So it's just this like strip. We got off of Ann Road from the 215 and we are heading now north on Schaumburg. And so it basically, this is in between Sky Hills and Sky Canyon in a way. So we're just gonna drive down this main drag and then go in through each of the neighborhoods and find all the parks as well. Uh, the builders at the time were Lennar, KB Homes, Ryland, Beezer, Richmond American, Toll Brothers, Calantic, Pulte, Party and Woodside. Those are all the builders that were here in Providence. So it's been around for quite some time. So it was built in 2006, like I mentioned earlier. This is in the northwest part of the valley in the 89166 zip code. And some of the neighborhoods in Providence have uh, private entry gates, community pools, and other amenities. There is another community in Providence um, that does have a clubhouse. I don't know which one it was. Oh, it's a sub community. It's called Northern Terrace that features three pools, cabanas, spa areas, a fitness area, and barbecue areas as well. So it looks like a good chunk of these neighborhoods are gated and, and um, only a few are not gated. We're just going to keep on going all the way to the end till we hit Sky Canyon and then drive around all the other neighborhoods. You're going to have, I think, two HOAs. I'm not, I don't remember how much the HOA is for Providence, but since most of these, even the non-gated ones have two HOAs, you're going to have the neighborhood HOA and then you have the master plan HOA. And I like how each of these have this like little park benches on the corner of all the stop signs, the four way streets.
so now we are at Grand Teton and Chamber. So if you can see straight ahead is Sky Canyon. And now we're going to go back and go look at the parks here. Now the three parks I mentioned, there's the Promenade Park, the Knickerbocker Park, and the Huckleberry Park. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go look in one of these neighborhoods and then we will um, go find the parks here. This is called Cambridge at Providence. I think I sold a house in this neighborhood before. I'll go this way and around those houses look good. Yep, I did sell in here. Down that way. It was a couple years ago. get some images of these houses. The only thing I can see about this neighborhood is that a lot of the homes are very close to each other. easier to have the phone. You don't want to use the stick? Nope. Not to deal with that shit. Okay, so I was gonna go to the first park on my list was the Promenade Park, but I ran into this park on the way there. So this one's called the Huckleberry Park. And this one is uh, between Farm and Egan Crest Lane. And this one has basketball courts, tennis courts, pickleball courts, looks like they're lighted, multiple field use. I mean, this one looks really cool. And it looks like there's a dog park, so let's, Keep on looking. They have walking trails here. The playground has a cooling off station. What else? Um, splash pad. And then they have a large and a small dog park here. It's a big park. Someone was playing tennis. <clears throat> That's a cool little structure right there. Then it looks like either, I guess those are bocce courts, horseshoe. I don't know why these parks still add these. I don't ever see anyone playing them. Look at that playground. That's very cool. That's a beast. Oh, a little putting green. That's cute. I like that. But look at that, that's beautiful.
and it looks like they have little exercise stations sprinkled throughout the park as well that's very popular i don't know if i ever see anyone using them but it's a pretty cool concept i'm going to stop for a second and take a picture of this like they have restrooms as well this is probably the splash pad area right there I wish there's a sign for this park Oh, it's a fire drill. Oh, that could be a sign right there. I always like to have pictures of the signs. So it looks like there's a either an elementary school of some sort or a school. I'm going to take a picture of this real quick. So it looks like they also have um, a dog park. Typically what they do is they have a small park for the small doggies and a, a, a park for the large doggies. It's kind of bright out. It's a nice park. All right, guys, I'm heading to the car. I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, that was a nice surprise running into that park on the way to the promenade park. Um, so yeah, there's three very nice parks. That was actually a very nice park. And I like how a lot of these parks are doing the two different um, dog park areas for your doggies, one for the small and one for the big. I think that's a great concept. I may do create a blog post with all the different parks in the Las Vegas Valley that offer a dog park for your four-legged friends. School's just getting out, so everyone's parking everywhere. And they don't... <laughs> they think they could just... Uh, <laughs> just come on, slide over. Someone's behind you. park at this park it's right in the middle of the community and it's really not much of a park it's interesting so it says that the center piece of Providence is a promenade park a large park that is a beacon for many families it is the linear walking park that serves as a community centerpiece the promenade provides seating, lush landscaping, and fun interactive playground. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get out and take a look at it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to see what this promenade is all about. They said it's a linear park, meaning that it's lengthwise. 
Let's see if there's a playground. Or this is just a very wide walking trail. I get my workout cut out for me. If it's not halfway there, I'm not going to continue on. <laughs> I'm being lazy. It's very calm and quiet, kind of. Minus the loud school buses. I don't see anything that resembles a playground. And I'm sure if I went further, it would, but I'm going to pass. Sorry, folks. I'm going to get back to the car and keep on driving around. See you on the flip side. Let's see. Let's keep on driving. <laughs> Somerset to Providence. Gated. Let's flip around. All right, this is Elkhorn. I don't even know what road we're on. <laughs> Does it say? No. Oh. Egan Crest. So we're still in Providence. You can tell you're still in Providence by the light posts and also the walls. Yeah, here's a little the apartments and then there's a bunch of shopping here on Hualapai. So we'll just take a left on Hualapai. So this is Northern Terrace, which is another sub-community within Providence. And this one has its own um, community pool and it's like a little clubhouse. Um, let's see if this is gated. Amazing. These look like newer homes, huh? Let's go this way. streak to go down. All 
All right, so this is, we're in December right now. By the time I post this video, maybe spring, <laughs> or by the time you watch this, it'll be a different season. So don't mind the Christmas decor on the outside of these houses. Uh, just pay attention to what the houses look like in general. Um, and don't give me flack that I may be posting this later than when I recorded it. Um, anyway, just had to put my two cents in because someone had commented on a previous video. It was like, why are you posting so late when you recorded it in October? Well, I have a lot of videos that I posted and I have to edit them and all that stuff. So it takes a minute to produce and then publish on YouTube. But I'll tell you one thing, these drivers here are a little crazy. <laughs> I can't remember where that clubhouse is. <laughs> I've been to it before. Let's go down to the street crested mountain. All right, well, we're going to try to make our way to find the last park, which is the Knickerbocker Park. Again, the point of this, oh, there it is. It's right there. I can't really stop. It's very private. Um, the point of this video is just really to show you what the houses kind of look like, what the parks look like, what the streets look like, and what Providence is all about. Um, so we'll keep on going and we're going to go to the Knickerbocker Park. I really like this park too. Okay, this one's very small. Has like a little two play areas. And I've done a video on this park a couple of years ago when I did Providence. I think I've done two other videos on Providence. Then it has the two dog parks, one for small, one for biggie doggies. And then an open field area. I like, I think the best park um, in this neighborhood is the Huckleberry Park. See, small dog area, 
large dog area. I know you guys can read. <laughs> and then they have trails throughout this community as well. Then they have this big open grassy area. So my note says that this is a 15 acre park. It's located in the Southern area of Providence. It's a multi-generational park with breathtaking views of the Las Vegas skyline, which is right there. However, it's a bit hazy out, so I don't think you can see the skyline. Then you can see Lone Mountain straight ahead. Over there's Lone Mountain. And that's the west. Alrighty, I'm gonna head to the car. See you on the flip side. Well, that concludes my neighborhood drive through tour of Providence. Let me know if you live in Providence or if you're interested in learning more about Providence. Leave a comment down in down below. I will also post a link to this awesome master plan community with all the listings that are for sale in this neighborhood. Um, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff, and stay tuned to other neighborhood drive through tours as I progress throughout the entire Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next video tour. Peace out.